I'm Sammy Hastings. I recently moved to the Bayview, and I'm on a quest to discover my new community. Join me, and together, we can see what's in the Bayview. Spring is in the air here in the Bayview, and today, we're at Bay Natives. I'm Sammy Hastings. I'm here with Jeff Coffey, co-owner of Bay Natives, which is an awesome place. And it's springtime, Jeff. Things are blooming. But California is at an all-time low in terms of water. Why are Bay Native plants so important to our scenery here in California? Well, it turns out that native plant gardening is not a new idea, but it really is an idea whose time has come. With the snowpack in the Sierra being at a 50-year low, people's initial knee-jerk reaction is that they cannot garden anymore. There's no water left for the plants. The long-term educated view is to just plant a different kind of a plant, not the frilly roses that came from England, not these exotics that are, albeit beautiful, very thirsty. The native plants have been growing here in this ecosystem, in this climate, since before there were any garden hoses, since there, before there were any sprinklers. They drink when it rains. That is an interesting concept, and I know the wonderful plants I've gotten here at my house here in the Bayview are thriving, and they need one-third or one-fourth of the water of the other plants that you're talking about. Now, how did you guys come to the Bayview? Why are you here in the Bayview? We were looking for a good site that we could have all of these plants, getting plenty of sunshine, and a place where customers could come and buy plants in quantity and load them into a truck. Uh, it turned out that the port of San Francisco is uh, uh, managing seven miles of waterfront property in San Francisco, and this site had been vacant for seven years. It was formerly the Pound, which was a heavy metal bar and nightclub, and uh, we made a deal with the port to turn it into a nursery. Wow, and you're at a very interesting intersection here in the Bayview. We are indeed. It is the intersection of the natural with the park right across the street and all kinds of open space in the Bayview. Uh, not to mention, of course, all of our natural plants that we have here in the nursery. It's an intersection of that natural world with the commercial world because we have these plants for sale so you can take them home to your garden. The industrial, we have the trucks going by all day long, the crushers across there turning raw concrete rubble into structural backfill and gravel for the, uh, to, to recycle building materials for the building industry. We've got trains hauling cargo up and down cargo way. And, and then we have the pastoral. You may have heard the rooster crowing over there. We have a herd of goats next door. We feed them our clippings and it's all working in this wonderful ecosystem. And not to mention the big recycling plant. It's almost like you guys are in the intersection of the circle of life. Now, Jeff, where do you get all these plants from? Do you, how do you create this? We grow them, we propagate them. Uh, some of them we buy in from wholesalers and other growers. Uh, we plant seeds, we take cuttings, we divide rhizomes, all kinds of Can methods. Can we go take a look at some of this creation that's going on here? I would love to show you our propagules. Awesome, let's go. Let's take a look. Many of the plants we grow are local San Francisco natives, like the Nootka reed grass, the blue-eyed grass, or the Franciscan wallflower. Wow. We are here in the propagation tent where you can find one of our most rare and fabulous treasures, the trillium. Wow. Native plant fanciers fall on their knees and worship this plant. It takes seven years from seed to get your first bloom. Wow. We propagate it actually mostly by division rather than from seed. These clumps will grow bigger and bigger in the root ball. It's really more of a bulb actually. And then every few years we take the large mother plants and we divide them into these smaller babies and that's the next generation of Trillium. Guys, this is just a few of the most exquisite beautiful plants I've ever seen and they're drought resistant. California native plants conserve water. So if you care about the environment and saving water, you better get down here to Bay Natives as soon as possible. I hope you've enjoyed watching today and join me next time as we discover what's in the Bayview. Jeff, thank you so much. Thank you, Sammy. It was a pleasure.